Hello, dears, and welcome to Al Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks, Tips, and Practical Tips. I'm going to share today with you a very interesting case of signet cell stromal tumor of the ovary. So, this is a 52 year old female patient who had an incidental finding of a right ovarian mass. And at low power magnification, as you can see, there is solid growth pattern with some dark areas and lighter areas. Now, zooming into the dark areas, as you can see, there is a proliferation of cells with some tendency at signet ring formation. This is a single cell with a single vacuole, eccentrically placed in nucleus that is pushed to one side, very much reminiscent of signet ring carcinoma of the stomach. Another uh, um, location or another focus within the tumor. And again, this these cells showing this, what appears to be like a signet cell uh, appearance or of a carcinoma of the stomach that is known to metastasize uh, to the ovary. Now, the background shows this spindle cell proliferation, and then we have those globules and other areas are composed mostly of what looks like fibrothacoma. This is very characteristic of this tumor type because actually this tumor type shows both components, the signet cell-like uh, appearance as well as the fibrothicoma-like appearance. And again, another uh, high power magnification of a focus showing the spindle cells, some collagen fibers here, and then the signet uh, cell appearance of the stromal cells because these are stromal cells. And we have the very characteristic hyaline globules that are very well described in this type of a tumor. Now, reticulin special stain, very helpful because it shows really increased reticulin deposition, sometimes even investing individual tumor cells. And the PAS would highlight further the globules. Again, supportive evidence of this type of a tumor. Now, remember that the, with the PAS, within the cells themselves, there is no evidence of immunosin. So the PAS can can also be helpful to rule out the presence of intracytoplasmic immunosin, which is seen in metastatic signet cell carcinomas. Cytokeratin is typically positive, and this is the pet fall. Cytokeratin would really be positive in the signet cells, and this is where the confusion might come with the differential diagnosis of metastatic signet ring carcinoma of the stomach or, for example, from the appendix. Now remember, in contrast to those tumors, this particular tumor is EMA negative. So we have actually to perform both cytokeratin and EMA in order to rule out metastatic signatory carcinoma from the stomach or from other sites. And the tumor cells are usually positive with calretinin. Remember that calretinin shows cytoplasmic and the nuclear staining. This is in the more fibrothicomatous area, and this is more in the signet ring areas showing this very characteristic in your clear positivity. Smooth muscle actin tends also to be positive in both components, the fibrothicomatous and the signet ring appearing cells. SF1 can show some really positivity. In this example, it was not really great uh, positivity. Now, inhibin is described to be negative usually in these tumors. However, in this particular example, it was actually positive and was very much helpful to support the diagnosis. So to sum up, this is a case of a 52-year-old female patient with an incidental finding of right ovarian mass. The diagnosis was consistent with signet cell stromal tumor. This is a completely benign tumor that may mimic signet ring carcinoma metastatic to the ovary, and this is where really the knowledge of the of this entity as well as the proper use of immunohistochemistry comes extremely important remember that the signet cell stromal tumor is usually positive for cytokeratin like carcinoma but is usually negative for EMA unlike carcinoma and this is very helpful 
to support the diagnosis in addition to other stromal um, immune histochemical markers like, uh, for example, the SF1, the calretinin are really extremely useful in supporting the diagnosis. Of course, history is also important in order to rule out metastatic carcinoma from the stomach. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.